how to install the Aerial Pixel Top GoPro mount for the DJI FPV drone, that coming up right after this. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about how to install the top mount on the DJI FPV drone. This is the top GoPro mount that we offer. Uh, we do offer the rear one as well that goes on to the battery, uh, but this one will specifically deal with just the top mount. First off, I want to thank everybody that's already purchased the top mount from us. We sold well over a thousand of them, and I do apologize that it's taken us this long to go ahead and get this video done. Uh, it's been a busy uh, six months since this thing was released, and I do appreciate you guys keeping us busy. So to get started, you will need one tool to do this. We do include uh, a three millimeter wrench in order to add and remove your GoPro off the top. We also include the uh, nut and bolt for that, but you do need a one and a half millimeter wrench. DJI does include one with your drone, so just check your box for that. Uh, if you don't have one, uh, we'll leave a link in the description below where you can get a nice one and a half millimeter driver. Always good to have in the bag anyway. So the first thing that we need to do to start off, we need to remove four screws on the drone. We need to remove these two front top screws, and then we need to remove this screw on both sides. So that one and that one. So again, using your one and a half millimeter driver, just go ahead and start removing them. The mount comes in four different colors. We have a black, a gray, a lime green, and a red. So for this color scheme, I think we're gonna go ahead and use the lime green. I think that'll look best. So what we need to do is uh, feed the screws. Go ahead and before you do anything to mount it on the drone, feed the screws through the mounting holes. I already started two of them here. We have the more flat ones that go through these back section right here. But then the more pointed screws, these go right through the front holes. Just press them in and then just turn it in. You can turn it to where it goes through about a millimeter or so on the other side. Something about just like that would work. All right, now that we got the last one started, uh, we can go ahead and start the installation on the drone. Uh, one thing you might find is it might be easier for you to go ahead and remove this bolt. We have this pre-installed. Uh, just go ahead and remove the bolt through uh, the hole there. This will allow it to flex a little bit more while you're installing it. So we'll go ahead and using the wrench that we provide for you, go ahead and remove that. All right, now the easiest way to install this is actually using the, uh, starting one of the side screws first. Go ahead and start that. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna, after we screw that one in, We'll kind of rotate this mount back. There's a little more play back here than when it's rotated up into place. So we're going to go ahead and keep it in that orientation. I'll go ahead and show you now. We'll go ahead and start this one here. You may find this easier to do if your props are not on, but you're welcome to leave them on. You can kind of tuck the, if you have a driver, you can kind of tuck it in underneath the prop. So what we wanna do is we wanna get it to where it's just snug. We don't wanna overdrive it. We don't wanna drive it actually through the TPU. Uh, you just wanna snug it up pretty good. Um, so that one's in. We're gonna go ahead and rotate around and kind of roll this back just a little bit. And you'll see that you do have to stretch it just barely to get it to go over to the other hole. And that's because we want this thing ultra tight. So we go ahead and just kind of pull on that and then using our thumb, go ahead and get this other side in here. There's a little bit of a dance, but it's not too hard. So we will go ahead and start screwing this one in. All right, so there, that one's just snugged up. Now we can go ahead and rotate this on up into place. That will stretch just slightly. That's okay, it's made to do that, it's TPU. 
Uh, we'll get that to just to where it's lined up and we can just drive these screws in. Okay, that one's in there. And we'll go over to the other side. Now again, we just want to snug these up. We don't want to overdrive them. We don't want to push them through the TPU. So just to where they're just snug. And uh, there that is. Now, any slack that might even be in here, even after we did all that pulling so tight, uh, it, once you get your camera installed, and let me grab a GoPro here real quick. This is the Hero 8. We're just gonna put it in through there, put the screw in. And using the wrench we include, just go ahead and snug it down. And then just by putting that bolt in there and tightening this up, it'll actually even draw it in just a little bit tighter. That way this thing isn't going to move at all. All right. So now a good angle that we've found is if you actually, looking at the side of your drone, if you line up with the back edge of uh, this foot here, that is a pretty good line to have. Uh, if you do typical sport mode and above, you might need to lower the angle a little bit more if you're just flying in normal mode. But for the most part, that's a pretty good angle to start at. The reason why we want to use TPU is uh, GoPros do really well with a soft mount, especially if you're using a GoPro Hero 7. The Hero uh, 6, 8, and 9 do a little bit better with a hard mount, but still a soft mount does really good, and especially if you're using HyperSmooth or even if you wanted to study uh, after the fact with the Real Steady Go application. Feel free to check out our original video we did back in March of 2021 when the drone was first released and we uh, developed this mount. Um, and we have some flight footage. Back then I was fairly new to the drone, so it was uh, kind of iffy flight footage anyway, but uh, there have been a lot of other people that have reviewed this, professional cinematographers, that can fly much better than I can. So uh, feel free to, I'll leave some links to their videos as well in the description below. So that is really it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down in the comments section below. I'll be glad to answer them. Again, thank you everybody for your support. You've been uh, tremendous. This has been one of our best selling products yet. We'll leave links in the description below if you have not picked this top mount up yet. Uh, we'll also leave links for this uh, back mount as well. The back mount just simply goes on the back, acts as a battery protector, uh, as well as gives you a good rear view. Uh, it kind of looks like you're you're flying backwards. So uh, that's a pretty cool, cool one too. We'll get into a video tutorial on that one a little bit later. So that's it. Thanks for your support. Fly safe and bye for now.